everyone, Sarah Gaston here. Welcome to another edition of Wednesday's Facebook Live, where I talk to you about all sorts of stuff having to do with the art and craft of acting. Can I just say one of the things I've missed about being quarantined is getting to wear a different scarf every day. I know it's the small things, people. Don't judge. Anyway, um, you know me, I'm just going to chit chat a little bit while I wait for people to hop on. So first of all, New Year coming up in a couple of days. I would recommend you take a look at my latest YouTube video where I talk about, um, it's a very abbreviated version of an exercise I go through each year to sort of assess like what's gone on before and what's coming up and basically what do I want to create in the new year. And anyway, it's I'll just talk you through um, an abbreviated version of this exercise and it's really helpful I think I um, I'm not I think I know I'm gonna say it with confidence I took a Tuesday night class through it last night and um, it is amazing how when you ask yourself the right questions you can really find all the wisdom you need really um, but you got to make sure you're asking yourself the right questions so anyway, I encourage you to watch that video for your own elucidation. I guess that word of the day calendar is working. Anyway, so uh, let's talk about pilot season. I had a long conversation with my manager a couple of days ago, and we have no idea what pilot season is going to look like this year. Now, traditionally, pilot season is January through April. It's in Los Angeles, and it's where they cast most of the pilots for the year. Now with year-around programming like we've developed with streaming, why is somebody calling me? Somebody has the nerve to call me during Facebook Live. Sorry for my notification. Anyway, um, so traditionally that's sort of been pilot season. Of course with year-round streaming and year-round programming, you know, a pilot can be shot anytime. So, um, but this has been a funky year, let's face it, and we don't really know what the the next four months are going to bring in terms of the industry. Hi, I hope you can hear that really loud sound. So I love rain, and so I have my patio door kind of ajar so I can listen to the rain, and now it is so freaking loud. Excuse me for a minute while I close that door. <laughs> season is going to look like. I will tell you, um, I have had more auditions this past month than I've had all year. It, there's no rhyme or reason that I know of other than this has just been a weird year. I'm not saying that like yay me. What I am saying is stuff's happening. Okay, so go get thee to a class or get thee to uh, practicing with your friends. Anyway, do something to keep things sharp, including watching this Facebook Live. Let's see, let's talk about the regional markets. The regional markets are really strong right now. Production is going on in Los Angeles and New York because at least in Los Angeles, it has been deemed an essential service. So that makes a lot of people mad, but not the people in the industry because that means they can continue to work. But because of our situation, um, almost all auditions are virtual. They're either a taped submission or they are some sort of, um, you know, virtual, like a Zoom call or something. So the good news about that means you can kind of be almost anywhere. So I would make the recommendation that if you have been considering getting a, an agent in another market, now granted, I would I would make sure that you have a strong presence in your current market before you do that. Um, but if you have a strong presence in your current market and you're ready to kind of step things up, I would look into getting an agent in another market. So it makes sense to get an agent in a market that um, is adjacent to you and that you, you know, will be able to work in. Um, but uh, 
forgot to turn on my notifications. Now I have people popping up. Hello, Sarah Sabias. <laughs> anyway, um, so anyway, so for example, I have representation in Los Angeles, Atlanta, and uh, Texas, and Louisiana. Okay, so I'm covered in a lot of different markets. Um, and again, I'm not saying that like yay me. You know, that was a gradual process, but I get. I get I get more opportunities right because I'm not just being looked at for things in my local market so anyway that's something to consider um, and you know the last thing um, because if you guys don't have any questions and you're not hopping on with any comments or whatever that's totally cool I'm just here to check in with you guys and support you uh, but the last thing I would say is um, you know take some time today and tomorrow and New Year's Day to look at what you would like to let go of. With, I mean, this has been a doozy of a year, no two ways about it. And I think there is a, there's, there's a belief, maybe, probably an erroneous one, that things are gonna, magically gonna be better on January 1st. No, they're not, we know that intellectually. But it's nice to think that 2020 is gonna be in the rear view mirror. But there's also some something to be said around making a deliberate choice about letting go of what doesn't serve you and really visualizing and doing some brainstorming and thinking about what you want to create for yourself. And it doesn't have to just be with the industry. It doesn't have to be with the industry at all. If you're you know, taking a break or you just burn out or you're just done, that's fine. But um, you know, look at old relationships that aren't serving you, old business associations that aren't serving you. Maybe your job no longer serves you. Maybe your approach to a given area of your life isn't working. You know, maybe your workout isn't working, right? But really take a look at what's working for you. Take a look at what's not working for you and um, think about what you really want to experience and also think about who you need to become if you want to experience that. So that's a, that's a little bit of, of the, uh, the uh, exercise, right? Figure out who you need to be to experience the things you want to experience. The other thing is, and this came up in, in class last night, if you're just not feeling motivated right now, you know, that is part of this journey. It, they're not kidding when they say it's a marathon, not a sprint. So if you're just not feeling it right now, just own that and just say, you know what? It's been a crummy year. I'm not feeling motivated, I just don't care, right? But acknowledge that and be with that, that that's more, a, I'm not trying to be the boss of you, it's more helpful to acknowledge that and to be with that and maybe even let your agent know, like, you know what, I'm just, I'm taking January off or whatever, um, rather than kind of telling yourself the story that you're still really in the game, but you're you're just not. You know, you're not gonna do the work when you get an audition or you're not gonna go to class or you're not you're just not gonna put in the effort because that's just, you know, that's not in your bandwidth right now. And that's okay. That's okay. Um, so I encourage you to to really take a long look at that. And if you are ready to sort of step up your game and get motivated well then great then take a look at what that would look like for you and maybe that means you know putting together a new reel or putting together your first reel or researching how to do a reel or getting new headshots or um you know getting an agent in a different market or getting into a particular class or workshop i highly recommend this tuesday night call uh it's a really great group. I teach it. Anyway, uh, yeah, I teach an ongoing Tuesday night class. So we love, we love having new blood and uh, God, it's such a great group. So supportive. They're doing such outstanding work. So we'd love for you to join us. You can audit. You can learn the details on my website. Oh, now somebody's coming to collect trash. So it's loud again. Anyway, um, but uh, yeah, think about what you want to create. Think about what you want to experience. And I wish you all a healthy and happy new year. Oh, you know, I forgot my sign off. I gotta say the sign off stuff. Like, I recommend you subscribe to my YouTube channel because like I said, I share a bunch of free stuff on my YouTube channel. Um, videos just talking all about all aspects of the art and craft um, and just the life of, of this business. 
And if you subscribe to my email list, which you can do on my website, www.saragastonnoh.com. Every once in a while, I realize I do speak smile a minute. Anyway, if you, um, if you go to my website and sign up for my email list, you'll get some information that I just don't share anywhere else. And you'll just keep, you'll be updated on everything that's going on. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. Be safe, be happy, be healthy, be blessed, and I'll see you next week. Bye.